New trouble for General Motors related to the ignition switch problems thought to be responsible for at least 12 deaths. Well, today the company's head comes face to face with lawmakers following an emotional meeting she had with the families of accident victims last night. Let's get to NBC's Tom Costello. He's in Washington. Tom, good morning to you. Hi, Savannah. Good morning. The Saturn was already on the list of two and a half million recalled vehicles. Now newer models also being recalled. Meanwhile, NBC News has obtained an internal GM document showing that eight years ago, the company ordered a design change to fix the problem with the ignition switch, but it never told its existing customers about the problem, and it never told the government. General Motors' problems keep growing along with its list of recalled cars. The nation's second biggest automaker is now recalling another 1.3 million vehicles in the U.S. that may experience a sudden loss of electric power steering, resulting in a higher risk of a crash. The new list now includes 2004 through 9 Malibus along with five other GM models. And it comes as GM's CEO is apologizing to its customers. Something went wrong with our process in this instance and terrible things happened. For failing to order a recall when it first learned of a serious safety flaw involving ignition switches. At least 12 deaths are believed to be linked to the defect, including 18-year-old Natasha Wagle and 15-year-old Amy Rademacher, who died after their Chevy Cobalt lost power, then crashed into a tree in 2006. These were our children, and they just act like they don't matter. They may not have mattered to Jim, but they mattered to us. Now, the NBC News investigative unit has obtained an internal GM memo suggesting a design engineer knew about the ignition switch problem back in 2006 and signed a document authorizing a redesign. The engineer was Ray DiGiorgio. Under oath in a lawsuit deposition from 2013, DiGiorgio said he did not know about the changes to the switch. So if any such change was made, it was made without your knowledge and authorization. That is correct. But this GM document authorizing changes to the switch was signed by DiGiorgio himself, suggesting the company knew about the problem eight years before the recall, even changed the part, but never told GM customers who never knew they were at risk. Now the witness table is set for today's hearing on Capitol Hill, and CEO Mary Barra is sure to be grilled. GM knew and accepted that they were willing to have this uh, switch that didn't meet their own specifications. Well, we need to ask why that was, and uh, what was the reason that they went ahead and did it anyways. GM CEO Mary Barra has only been on the job for a few months, but in her prepared remarks to lawmakers, she will say she doesn't know why it took so long to order a recall. She's ordered an independent investigation. Meanwhile, she will apologize yet again to those family members. Savannah? And Tom, it's not just GM, but also the federal regulators, the ones who are supposed to be watching these car companies who are under some fire, right? Yeah, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Republicans and Democrats want to know why it didn't act when it had hundreds of complaints. It has already told NBC News it didn't have sufficient evidence to order a recall, but NHTSA will be on the hot seat as well today. Tom Costello on a big story affecting a lot of Americans. Thank you.